Hi, in this video we're going to be demonstrating the reinstall Windows using Windows Update feature, which is supposed to keep your files, settings, and applications intact and reinstall Windows. So we're going to see how well it works here. So if we click on Start and go to Settings, and then to System, and then Recovery, you'll see we have several options here. Fix problems without resetting your PC, which will just let you run some troubleshooters. And then we have the fix problems using Windows Update. So reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. This is what we're going to do. And then we also have the reset this PC option, which will let you reinstall Windows and either wipe everything or keep just your personal files. There's not an option to keep your apps and settings. And then there's the advanced startup, which will restart your computer and give you options to do things such as go into safe mode or have it diagnose your computer to see why it's not starting up or run system restore and that type of thing. Okay, so we're going to use this option here. So let's click on reinstall now. But before we do, we can see we have a couple programs installed here. We have some documents and some pictures. So we'll make sure those are there when we're done. Okay, reinstall now. All right, so if a repair solution is available, we'll attempt to fix system component corruption by reinstalling the current version of Windows. Your apps, documents, and settings will be preserved. And even though it says it's going to preserve your documents, you should always do a backup before trying something like this in case it uh, fails or something like that. All right, so we'll click on OK. So now it's going to check for some updates. So if this takes some time, we'll have to pause the video and then be back when this step is complete. Okay, so now it is downloading the files it needs here for the installation. So this computer is on 24H2, so that's what it's going to be using to reinstall. And then there's some other miscellaneous update here as well. All right, so we'll pause and then be back when it's ready for the next step. Okay, so the download took about 20 minutes, so now we're going through the installation process. So we'll pause again and let this run. Okay, so we got 100%, and then this update was also completed as well. All right, pending restart. So we're going to restart now and see what happens. All right, so now it's going to have to go through the updates here while we're rebooting. All right, restarting. Okay, doing some more updates. So you see at the bottom says your computer may restart a few times. So, so the installation part took about 30 minutes or so. Then we had the 20 minutes for the initial download. Okay, so I did a little fast forward uh, during that update process here. So let's log in. So we still have our two user accounts, if you notice that. Okay, so we're finally back on our desktop here. You can see we have our application still there. Let's check our documents and photos. Yep, those are still there as well. Let's see what uh, version we're on here. Make sure everything's looking good. So 24H2, just like we left off, but you might have noticed Windows isn't activated. So you may run into this problem again. So depending on if your key is tied to your Microsoft account or to your motherboard that'll uh, determine how this is going to work. So you just click on activate now So this is just a test computer it doesn't have a valid key so I'll have to fix that later But if you have a valid key, you shouldn't have this problem All right, so once again go to the Windows setting go to system Recovery then fix problems using Windows update Click on reinstall now, and that's all there is to it. But like I said, you should back up your files before doing so just to make sure uh, they aren't lost in case something goes wrong. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.